Again, with the KETV News Watch 7 exclusive. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandy Peterson. Stealing a bench may not sound like much to you, but when it's used as a place of healing, taking it is just heartless. And it's just the latest in a series of crimes at the same nonprofit. KETV News Watch 7's Christina Engel joins us live in Benson with the big story. And Rob, that bench sat in this meditation garden here at the Benson Plant Rescue. That's a nonprofit that donates that donates books and computers to libraries. But they say that bench is also the final straw, and they say that a year-long crime spree targeting them ends tonight. But this is the meditation garden space now that you can see down here. A garden that's supposed to be peaceful and calming. But lately for David Hibbler, it's been a source of frustration. We've noticed plants taken uh, and uh, you even had people seeing things in broad daylight right under our eyes. It's been, that's, that's a little bit disheartening. Hibbler is with the Benson Plant Rescue, an organization that exists to help kids and would not exist without volunteers and donations. Yeah, our proceeds go to buy children's books and iMacs and iPads for the library. But he says ever since they moved to this location near 72nd Maple about a year ago, it seems like no good deed goes unpunished. I thought that they would come in here and feel that they could steal medi you know, a meditation bench out of, the, out of the garden or a memorial bench out of the garden is just, it's sad. He's talking about this bench. This is a picture of it stolen from the middle of the garden. But thieves left the other two benches alone, each inscribed with comforting messages. This one here says, uh, Gone yet not forgotten. But Hibbler says he won't forget the spree of thefts that led up to this. First, there was a copper theft that rendered these fridges worthless. Then a smash and grab, thieves destroying the front door, making off with cash. And weeks later, another break in through the back doors, stealing $900 in tools. This is insult to injury, really, with the bench. A bench meant to help heal broken hearts. So he says whoever took it must not have one. That's why I say the, the thought that they would steal that kind of a, of a message is. Peculiar. And now the Benson Plant Rescue will pay you $500 if you help them get that bench back. Now, Hibbler says it's especially frustrating that people steal plants because a lot of the time they're giving them away. So, in the next month, you will see some new security measures here as well as a new fence and security cameras. Reporting live in Benson, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7.